Hi, this is Lawrence from Royal Headache, and you're listening to Sohan and Marnie. You guys opened up the blue stage, with which the Chili Peppers will be playing later tonight. Uh-huh. How did that feel? Um, it was pretty humbling. Like I used to come to these festivals when I was about 14, 15. It's probably the first festival I ever went to. I remember like, getting up early to see the first band play, and I was like, wow, it could be a kid in the crowd like that, like me. Like, <laughs> so it was pretty humbling. It was like, wow, I've, like, I've made it. Like, I'm playing now to to people in the crowd like at a big day out yeah so, definitely yeah humbling that's how it felt the name royal headache where does that come from um our drummer invented it it's just a really sort of a, like a bratty sort of 80s punk style name you know royal headache uh, i just think it's like kind of like a monarchy sort of that's exactly what i was yeah. thinking i was like yeah they're definitely a punk band yeah it's like a monarchy sort of uk style name yeah so that's basically it now you guys played with the black keys recently and i read somewhere that you guys were really surprised at how big um you had become and almost confused by it um, how do you feel now yeah that was a weird situation we didn't realize the black keys were so big because like we yeah we don't really listen to that sort of style of music yeah. and we got asked because we, we knew who the black keys were but they were just like a band like us about four years ago. Yeah. So like, oh yeah, we'll play little venues, but like, no, no, entertainment centers. Huge. Like, like really? Like, <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, it was pretty, pretty surprising. Like, it was really uncomfortable at the time. Really. Um, just playing that amount, amount of people, and I don't think the music went over that well with that, with that sort of crowd because it's we're pretty different bands, Black Keys and Royal Headache. Yeah. They're much more abrasive, much more punk, much more raw. Yeah, the definitely. Black Keys are very polished and very. You know, for a mainstream audience, but um, I think it went over, didn't really go over too well with a lot of people. Not quite what you expected. But we really enjoyed the time though as well. Like, well, that's good. That's what's most yeah. important, really. It's like, good to get kind of thrown in the deep end sometimes. It is, yeah. Like seeing how the entry works as well backstage is pretty incredible. Like there would have been about 50, 60 people working backstage, and there was catering every night, which is unbelievable. Like, and like it was pretty well paid. Oh, that's probably shouldn't talk about that. <laughs> but like it was like. We finally got paid, you know, yeah, and that was, that was nice to have a bit of money at the end of it. Yeah. And did you get to talk to the guys from Black Keys? Yeah, they were really nice. Yeah. The drummer was especially nice. He was watching us every, pretty much every show. He'd watch on the side of stage and just give us pointers sometimes. But yeah, it was, it was cool. Yeah, it was cool. Now, you've performed overseas as well. How, how does the punk scene over there kind of differ to the Australian one? Um, they're, they're pretty alike, I'd say. Yeah. Um, and it, we mainly just played America and we've done New Zealand once as well. Uh, the audience in America, pretty much just like the audience back here, just really responsive, big crowds. I remember we sold out Chicago and New York. Oh, so that's pretty awesome. pretty much like the same, like if we played Sydney and Melbourne, just smaller venues though, but like, yeah, really responsive and really, really enjoy the music. Awesome. Did really anything cool. crazy happen when you were over in America? Um, yeah, there's a lot of like superstar stuff that kind of happened, like a lot of people offering new stuff, like, like yeah. I wouldn't say what they were offering, but like a lot of people <laughs> like, yeah. just trying to be really good friends with you. Yeah, like, really yeah. good friends. Yeah, yeah. it was... <laughs> Yeah, it was nice. It's, it's nice to do it, yeah. yeah. In the band's interest page on Facebook, it says, Eating the food my mum cooks. Uh, <laughs> what do you guys miss the most when you're on tour? Uh, I can explain that. My mum's Filipino, so... Um, oh, okay. We, we rehearse at my house, my old house, where we used to live, and she cooks a feast every time we rehearse. Like, she'll, like, she'll make about four or five dishes. Oh, like, my gosh. <laughs> every my time we rehearse. Like, Get whatever. Yeah. I'm not cooking for you all. Oh, really? <laughs> That sounds amazing. What are you guys' background though? You, Indian. Yeah. Curries and stuff. Best food though. Yeah, when we go on tour, I'd say we miss the most our partners because we've got girlfriends now. And yeah, probably just that, just partners and just not being able to go home into your bed every night. What's um, the longest that you've been away from home? Probably about 30, 35 days. Oh, okay. Yeah, on a tour. And um, yeah, we're all pretty much feeling it on the third or fourth weekend. But yeah, but we really enjoy touring though as well. It's, it's, you start a band so you can tour basically, yeah.